We have the Kibru chocolate bun. Here we go. Very squishy and super soft. Has some weight to it. Oh my goodness, so that is not even starting the bin. So now we're finally gonna open this thing and see how far the madness has come. Starting with the first squishy that I see, here is the Hello Kitty cream puff. I'm not going to take it out of its packaging because the sprinkles are fragile. It says it's scented, but I could never smell anything. But it's very cute and has a pink ball chain. Next I have this uh, KTB Farm honey bottle. He's very squishy and smells exactly, it says Kumatom on the bottom, smells exactly like grape. Grape candy, it's so good. Next, I have another grape squishy. This is the Oreo by Punimon, the Oreo cone. And this one comes with a pur purple ball chain, and here's what it looks like. Very cute, and also smells like grape. Was kind of hoping it would smell like chocolate, dark chocolate, but okay. Grape is good too. Here is the Cutie Creative Mini Burger. Here's what it looks like out of its packaging. Those sesame seeds are real, so they kind of fall off if you squish it too hard. And it just smells like the kind of cutie creative generic sweet smell that's also mixed with chemicals. But it's very cute and squishy. Next is the Ayama Tokyo Churro in the chocolate flavor. This thing is super old. And it smells like pudding, chocolate pudding. It's very good. The smell is slowly fading as it ages, but I can still smell it in some areas, which is awesome because the smell is so good. I have the this Fat Paw Paw Slow Rising Avocado Squishy. There's the back of the packaging. This one smells like watermelon. It's very squishy as well. Very cute. This cream puff by J Dream. Is it J Dream? I want to say it is. I'm not going to take it out because it's, I mean, you can see it through the bag. This is plastic and the rest is just kind of this foam texture. Next is this pretty non realistic looking, very solid replica of a sandwich. Got this from a Banggood review package and it's, I just think it's funny. <laughs> Next, I have three of these I Love Sushi series squishies. I have the shrimp, the salmon, and then the fish eggs one. Oh, this one's upside down. <laughs> these were bought from Banggood, I believe, and they are pretty squishy. Not the slowest to rise, but very detailed and squishy. And I love them. This Cafe DN little ice cream sandwich kind of thing. <laughs> taco. Pretty squishy, but I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because it's a pain. Next I have this Roadie Toast by Bredo. This is a licensed one and it does smell really good. I've been meaning to get another Bredo, but I always forget. Next is this Cream Puff. I'm not sure what the brand is. Pretty fast to rise, but it does smell exactly like the Ayama Tokyo Churro does which is why I love it. It smells really good and it's super soft. So it's a good squishy and pretty cheap nowadays. So next is this little turtle. This was one of the first squishies I ever got and it's pretty slow rising. It doesn't have any packaging or anything. It just came in a Ziploc bag. Here is an original Rilakkuma jumbo toast loaf. And it's pretty squishy. Um, I don't remember if this had packaging with it. Did it? I think it did, but I did not keep it. Here's this curatory cake roll. I do not have the tag with me, although I do still have it somewhere. Um, it has the same tag as the Rilakkuma loaf. And it has a couple cracks, but other than that, it's still pretty squishy. 
Next is this flambeau cake. The box got beat up because of reasons, but it's a really, really cute squishy and definitely worth it because the squishy itself is really detailed, soft, and really squishy and solarizing. It also smells delicious, like strawberries. I'm not sure if the blue one and the yellow one, I believe, have a different scent. But this one smells amazing. Here's the Tokyo Bakery Roll Cake in the chocolate flavor. It's not the slowest to rise, but it is pretty squishy. And it has this buttery bread smell. Not very strong. It's, it's mixed in with a hint of chemicals, but it does kind of have a scent. Next, I have this Cafe DN little hot dog. I really just should have taken all the Cafe DNs out and showed them together. Should, huh? It's very squishy and it's awesome for display. I'm planning to use this with my America doll for photography. The Cutie Creative Meaty Bone. Here is the packaging. I didn't notice this until after I stopped filming the review, but uh, mine came with a defect. That's a pretty large defect, <laughs> but whatever. I mean, I got it for sale anyway. So here is the little bone. It has Cutie Creative somewhere on here. I'm trying to look for it right there. And then this one smells like bread, like Cutie Creative's bread smell. Oh gosh, all of this stuff is going to come falling down. Here is the DIY squishy that I made for my collaboration with Gothic Squishies. You can kind of see that. It's still really squishy and I like the sound it makes thanks to the fabric paint. Next is this Joey watermelon bread. really cute box and the squishy itself is amazing it smells heavenly and it's really slurizing next i have my sort of toast collection <laughs> So here is the Mother Garden toast bread that I got from Sudagaya. I'm actually in the process of buying more squishies from Sudagaya, so expect a package hopefully soon. I know it's already been ordered, I just have to wait for it. And here is the, what is this again? Squishy Japan and Eye Bloom Ayama Tokyo toast. So I like the, these better than the English toast because they are much more squishy. And for the most part, the scent is definitely stronger. Ah, I love these. <laughs> Here's the packaging. In addition to that one, I do have the melon one. And this one smells amazing too. Here is the grape version as well. Um, running out of room again. Here's the British Royal Soft Toast in the mango. This is the only one I kept from that series. I'm in the process of selling the rest. And I have this one in a little Ziploc bag because I want the smell to be preserved. It's very slurizing and squishy. The texture is definitely different though than the, the other ones. I have this plain toast that I was going to deco and I always forget to. I got this one from Miso Kawaii, I believe, and it smells really good like sweet bread. Next I have the old version, but reproduced version of the original Ayama Tokyo toast in the coffee flavor. This one is just as squishy as the other um, new versions. So squishy and it totally smells like coffee. It's delicious. The last toast is the orange poco toast. Now these are, so, I learned a little thing about these. These are from vending machines in Japan and maybe other countries, I'm not sure. So that's why they were rare for a while, but I think people started buying from the original wholesaler, so they're not that rare anymore. 
And here is the toast itself. It's pretty thick, not the slowest to rise, but very squishy. And then it comes with this little stretchy egg that you put on top and squishing both at the same time is pretty awesome. And the, I like that the packaging has the uh, ball chain attached to it well, instead of the squishy itself. Next we have the original Chawa melon bun. Melon bun. <laughs> Manju bun. <laughs> and I've had this one since I first started collecting high, the higher end squishies. Here is the tag. It's just a regular little manju bun with a purple ball chain. It's still really squishy, but it has some defects in there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So it obviously has some defects. But it still smells amazing, and you can tell. I had this by the, my window for a while, so the, it, the paint kind of faded away and it's stained. But again, I don't know what it is about Chawa, but their scents do not go away. This still smells amazing. And I never kept this in its packaging, yet it still smells pretty strongly of the grape candy smell. Next is another Mother Garden Squishy. This one I also bought from Sudagaya. I was surprised by how squishy it was. I always thought Mother Garden Squishies were pretty dense. And it doesn't smell like anything, it's just regular old chemical smell. One good squish in the packaging. Ooh. Next is this Sunny Doll Squishy. And the packaging does not want to work with me because it opened on its own. Here it is. He's so cute. Sorry, dogs. And to me, this smells like bubblegum. It smells exactly like how Pop Pop Sheep smells like. Next is the Strawberry Pie by Chawa. So here we go. It comes with a ball chain that I left in the box. And I'm not going to take it out of its packaging, but this does come off and they both smell amazing like blueberries. Just so y'all can see how much I'm struggling to keep all of this together. <laughs> all right, next, because it's easy, here is another panda bun. This one's slower than the previous one, but it's not my first one. I think I got this as a freebie as well. Here's a little chibi sakura bread. It says bread, but they're obviously pancakes. And this one smells sweet. It also has a little uh, holographic sticker to show it's authentic. Here it is out of its packaging. It's very squishy. And it smells sweet and floral, slightly floral, with this texture on the back. Very cute. Next is this SGC Squishies little cookie. And the packaging is not that special, but here is the squishy itself and the tag, which is also not that special. So it is scented. It smells really good and sweet here. And I just like this one because it's so metallic but also because it's really squishy, very soft, and light. Delicate is the word I want to use to describe the squishy. Next is the Monster Dolls by Cutie Creative. This is Mummy. I also have Mummy. Not sure where he is. <laughs> um, I'm super, is anyone else super excited? Because I am for the new Cutie Creative little dolls that they're making. I think it's Tummy and Mummy with the pumpkin. So cute. And this one is so squishy. I love him. He's one of my favorites. And he just kind of has that generic cutie creative sweet smell. Next, I have this Eye Bloom Billy the Whale. Someone asked in a previous video what the stickiest squishy I have is, and it's definitely this little guy. So there's some eye bloom licensing on the bottom. But yeah, he's so sticky. And he smells really strongly of mint. I want to say it's spearmint. It's definitely that toothpaste scent. 
instead of like mint gum. Pretty super squishy. Here's an iBloom soft bagel. It's very soft. This is the softest iBloom squishy that I think they've ever made. It's very light, delicate, and feels really hollow, but also very realistic, so that's awesome. And it smells exactly like the Moosh collaboration breads. This is gonna take forever to come back up, so I'm not even gonna bother to wait. There are people who have larger squishy collections than I do, and I'm already tired. I don't know how they do it. Moving on, we have this, uh, what is this called again? A marshmallow bun? And I kept this because it makes a fun sound when you squish it. I got this from Misa Kawaii, and it smells like delicious. Smells like the Birdo breads, if you get the original kind. Sweet bread smell. The next thing that I have is one of those DigiPan squishies that I got for that review, and it's super squishy. It's a, I think this is a different brand than the usual brand who sells these fried squid squishies, because this one is slow rising compared to the other ones I've seen. I'm not complaining though, I've always wanted one of these, and it's super cute. Next we have this little Yumeno Choco Bear, and he's super cute. So he has his little hat, his little ears, the cake, and he is just so cute. And pretty squishy as well. And he kind of just has um, the same generic sweet smell that that sugar cookie squishy had. It's kind of soapy. Next we have this Chawa soft serve ice cream. And this is the grape flavor. I'm surprised these weren't that popular. They're honestly really good, really amazing. And this came off. I'll have to glue that back together. But while we're at it, that's what it looks like. Ah, I got stuck to the squishy itself. That's not supposed to happen. Oh no! So this did get stuck on there. I don't know how that happened. I don't remember ever doing that. But it happened. So now that is forever stuck and if I want to take it off, I'm going to have to rip part of the squishy. So I'll deal with that later. But again, I don't know why these weren't that popular because they are amazing. Super soft on this side and then the scents are to die for. They smell so good. So there's that. And then the licensing is somewhere on the tip of the cone. It's kind of hard to see. Some of them, some batches may not have even have it, had it because I had two and one of them didn't have it, but this one did. Next is this iBloom Jumbo Strawberry. It's not the slowest to ride, but it is an older squishy. But I love the smell. Seriously, this smells amazing. There's Bloom right there. Oh, so good. So good. Get yourself one of these. Small or big does not matter. Get yourself one of these if you love the strawberry smell. Let's keep it going with the strawberries. So here we have the Punimaru Pineberry. I'm not going to take this one out of its packaging, but it although it says double scented, this only smells like strawberry to me and not that strongly in the first place, but there is a little cheeky and an awesome squishy. Next we have this Cutie Creative Garlic. This was a Halloween squishy, but it got released pretty late. It smells like garlic, it really does. So I never want to smell this one, but it's it's just a cool little decoration piece and they're really squishy, so I like them. Also, I'm, I'm pretty biased when it comes to vampire themed stuff. Aha, found it. This is the original panda bun I first got. Not squishy and yellow because it's old. Not going to deal with that. Here is Mummy from the Cutie Creative Monster Dolls. 
he is my favorite of the two because his scent is delicious and he has the more gory thing going on. I know a lot of people aren't comfortable with that, but I personally thought it was cute. So he is really textured and smells exactly like melon. He's cute. He smells amazing. He's super squishy. What else do you want? Perfect squishy right there. Next is this eye bloom little penguin. And I got the Sora version. He smells like blueberries, I believe. I took him to one of my Russian exams. And I passed, so he must be good luck. <laughs> he is very squishy and he used to be sticky, but he's not anymore. And he still has kind of the blueberry smell, although it's faded a little. But he's really cute and I like penguins. And it has bloom on the foot right there. Moving on, we have two mangoes, one from Aridi. So I could not find the packaging for the other one. So here it is. It's not resealable. But the squishy itself is amazing. And then here is the cutie creative mango. I'm not going to take it out because, I mean, they all look the same. The squishiness is more or less the same. It's just this one's slightly slower to rise. The smell is definitely the same. This one has a more natural sweet smell again. But otherwise, the copying was strong with Aridi at the time. Welcome to a different angle, guys. There was no more room to put more squishies in. We don't have that many left, but I just could not try and figure out and the pressure of waiting for it to collapse on me could not be dealt with. So I'm just gonna continue on in this angle. The next squishy that I have is this I Bloom I Love Orange. This is very squishy. This is the reproduced version. Um, it's obvious from the packaging. Here is the squishy itself. It's very, very squishy. And it used to smell like oranges, like orange juice, Sunny D orange juice, but now it doesn't smell like anything, which is sad. Next are the two Cutie Creative loafs that I bought because I re I'm a really big fan of these loafs. I don't know what it is. It's just the packaging is so cute and they're also pretty squishy. So I love those. And there isn't a real difference between the colors other than the packaging and um, the paint job a little. Next is this little Eye Bloom Pom Pom Hamster. This is Momo, I believe, in the sleepy version, and he smells like peaches. So there's Bloom on his butt right there, and he's really cute. I love him. Correction, he used to smell like peaches, now he doesn't. <laughs> Next is this Punimaru Jumbo Bear Pancake. Do not eat. This is the blueberry version, and like I said earlier with the small one, these have different charms on them. This is a jam jar, and it has this little cardboard plate piece. This is the reproduced version. I used to have the original, but I sold it, and I regretted it, so that's why I bought the new ones. It's not the squishiest out there, but it is very, very squishy, and... I'm sorry, it's not the most slow rising, but it is very squishy. And the scent is amazing. Like, just like the small one, this one smells amazing like blueberries. Next we have the Aridi Marshmallow Cake. Just the feel of it is amazing. This is one that I think every squishy collector should have, regardless of what brand you get it from. Super cute. And it smells kind of like sweet soap. Next, I'm not going to open this one, is an extra eye bloom peach that I wanted to keep for collector's purposes. I got this from a sale and it's pretty much the same as the one I just showed that's open. Next is this mushroom squishy. And it just has that sand stuff inside. I really want to cut this one open, but at the same time it's funny. Here's the Eric muscle bread. <laughs> it's funny. Very squishy and I, I'm a huge fan of this. Just the overall texture of this bread and how smooth it is makes it a very fun 
squishy to squish and play with. And it smells, um, just kind of has that generic bread smell, but definitely get this for the squish factor. Okay, guys, I'm down to the last thing in this large bin, but I forgot I had another little drawer under my desk full of squishies as well, so we're not done. Um, the last thing in the bin, though, is this Blampo Burger. I did tape it together. Um, I tried to scan it, but my scanner was being stupid, so I was just like, eh. And this Blampo Burger is amazing. It's so squishy. And it smells really sweet for some reason. Sweeter than I remember. But that's definitely a good burger. Now we're down to the last few. <laughs> These are smaller squishy, so I may have to try and maneuver them so they don't get lost in this mess. But the first one is that little um, kind of food replica thing that I got from D Japan. I just like, I just like the noise it makes. Like that. Next we have, I have no idea where the packaging for this was, but it was just a clear past plastic bag, so it doesn't really matter, I think, is this generic jumbo manju bun that I also got from the Banggood Review package. Super squishy. Next is the iBloom Taiyaki fish that I got for sale from Squishy Shop because it was defective, so it does have some cracks and stuff in it. It doesn't have a smell, but it is, I don't know, just really fun. I, I, don't, I just like the design of a taiyaki. So I'm really attracted to this one. Someone also asked me a while ago whether or not this one has licensing, and I don't see any. I checked at the time and I didn't see any then either, but maybe I missed it, but nope. I don't see any licensing on this one. Next I have this Key Brew Strawberry, and here's the packaging. And here is the squishy. It's gotten a little pale because I put it, it's one of my go-to squish squishy, so it was on my key, on my bag for a while, which meant it was in contact with the sun. But it's still very squishy. It just doesn't have the strawberry scent anymore. Here we have two little squeeze toys. This one is that bun that I got as a freebie from, who was it actually? I don't remember, but that one's fun. And then, oops. And then there's this USA Big Marshmallow that I got from the D Japan pur purchase. I like this one just to keep it in its packaging because it's so cute. But it's squishy as well. I don't know where the packaging for this one went, but here is a lime. Um, this one actually did used to smell like lime, but not anymore. But it's still pretty squishy. Next I have this J Dream Jumbo Orange Stretch Toy. It's so realistic, I love it. And whatever's inside looks really cool. This is a fun one. Next I have another one of those J Dream little toasts. Don't know what flavor that is. It has chocolate, but also strawberry drizzle. And then I have this little, not sure what this is called. This is a mascot, but it's like a squeeze toy. Found another one of those J Dream toasts. This is the original one I got. I think it was orange flavor. And they're just fun. Fun little toys. Next I have two of these little pudding cups. So this one is actually broken. The water squirts out of it. So oh, I just kind of kept it because I don't know. I can still squish it. But here's the new one I got to replace it. It's a Gudetama one. I got this one from Delightful Boutique. And it's super squishy. But they are very easy to get dirty, so I just wash it with water every now and then. But there's a little Gudetama in his butt. Really cute. Next I have this creamy candy bun that I got as a freebie. Put that one down there. This jar of marmalade. This is the slime. I don't know if this counts, but I did get it in a squishy package. I'm not going to open it though because putting this back on was time consuming. But you can hear that it has slime inside and I just like the design. I really like it when they incorporate really realistic themes to it and it looks so cute. Next is this pan de table, the one that looks like a torta to me. It's still really, really squishy. Has not had any defects yet so far and it still has the bread smell. This is the original Eric chicken bread toast. So that's what the packaging looks like. 
and the squishy itself is not the squishiest thing around. I take that back. It is squishy. It's just not the slowest to rise and it has a couple defects because it is pretty old. I've stopped squishing it though because I want to preserve it because it still smells like someone's making soup or something or fried chicken. It smells so good. I wonder if their recent re-releases still have that smell. The next two I forgot about are actually the Toast, J Dream Toast Squishies. So this is the old one, the first one that I got, and then this is the more recent one that you saw in the previous video. Um, this one smells like chocolate, this one just has chem a generic chemical smell. But they're both pretty squishy. So there's that. Down to the last two things. So the first thing that is left here are these little mini gotcha squishies. Um, I'm not going to take them all completely out because I just like to keep them in there for safekeeping. They're not that special. They're just pretty generic bread squishies. And then the last thing is the onigiri stretchy toy. So here it is. And which side is it? I think it's, nope, it's this side. When you squish it, squish it, this pops out. This is the plum flavor, but they also have like actual fish. And I just like this one. The texture is really nice. I'm pretty much almost packed everything up and then I realized because I went back to my room um, to rest that I forgot about the Orica Burger. But yes, the Orica Burger is part of my collection as well. I love the burgers. They're super cute. And there's my whole squishy collection, you guys. We did it. It's a miracle. I'm going to try and arrange these on the floor into where I can get a good thumbnail because I know the last one looked really cruddy. <laughs> I, by that point I was too tired and I'm, I'm tired right now, but I'm going to try and make a good thumbnail. Like I said, the reason I decided to do this video now is because I am going to clean out a lot of these. I've realized that um, the initial reason I wanted to get squishies was to squish them. They're great stress relievers and I really only need one or two of the same scent or of the same type, so I'm going to start going through them and seeing which ones I really don't care to squish that much or don't want to keep. I will be listing the ones that I sell off on my TikTok as well as eBay and Store Envy Store. Thank you so much for watching and following my journey into this mess of a collection that I now have. Another reason that I'm clearing them out is because I just ordered 14, I think, extra ones from Surugaya and I plan to make another purchase once the Sammy uh, Halloween squishies come out. So that's gonna get hectic, especially with how little room I have to store them all. As you can see, I have to get creative um, with how I store them now and that's just too much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. And again, I will leave all the information to where I will be, I will be selling my squishies in the description.